Okay, everyone, I am here to show you um, just about equipment and props really quick. This is um, just going to be, you know, up to you depending on your products. But if you are a VA wanting to offer this as a service, I suggest getting a variety of things um, and backdrops. My favorite backdrop is this whitewashed wood. However, I don't use it that much. I usually still use white just because it looks so clean and I know it's not gonna go out of style. This is just another wood option. I've used it a few times. I've got rainbow, black, green, and blue since those are my store colors, but I honestly don't ever use those. Um, so it might be nice to have a few options. Oh, I have black too. Um, but I just really suggest you know, wood is usually good or white. <clears throat> now, over here, I am currently setting up a new lighting system and I haven't really tried it yet, but if you wanna use box lights instead of a ring light, um, you can definitely do that. I suggest having four, I started out with two, but four is gonna bring in lighting from all angles. Okay. I do have a blog post which I will link to this um, in the uh, comments on this page or the, I guess, description, I should say. Now, over here, I do have some like geometry shapes when I'm doing stuff for math people. Um, I kind of organize my own products in, in here. I use all sorts of colored paper. You, if you, especially if you're using white, you want to offset the product from the white background. And then you can also just go to like Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby and get um, different scrapbook paper. I make sure that I have, you know, all the seasons. Here's, you know, like winter, or Christmas stuff. Um, I have St. Patrick's, 4th of July. And one thing you can also purchase, besides just using like Astro Brights too, is I got this. This is just scrapbook paper and it's got all sorts of colors. Um, and you can find plenty of variations just at a craft store of something like this for when you stage the video. So I will take you through staging one um, in just a second, but I just wanna kind of show you some things I have. And um, clipboards are also another really good option to use you know for something like that if you're a VA I do recommend buying like these boxes from Walmart or Amazon they're just um, if I can open it <laughs> I don't know if I can um, there we go. so um, lots of colors also if you sell task cards if you're not a VA these are really good idea and you're bound to have at least one of your branding colors in the rainbow obviously so there you go oops my husband who is super organized organized um all my props in this tackle box so when you're staging i do recommend you know having markers pencils i um, do some resources for people with play-doh um post-it notes i have a lot of dog products so i like use these little tennis balls so, it, I mean, really, just whatever you need to do to set the stage um, for your products. Now, secondary teachers probably be more clean, um, and they can, I don't know, you don't have to have as much stuff, but elementary teachers, I would recommend having colored pencils kind of set around, or, um, pen, or crayons, or whatever. I do have some, like, there's a Valentine's pencil. Fourth of July, Halloween. I got these just at a teacher store in, in town. And if you're a VA or a math teacher, highly recommend getting some math manipulatives. I also have snap cubes, but I did. You can just order this stuff cheap off of Amazon. But I do have, you know, like fraction blocks, dice. This is like um, multiplication, subtraction. Uh, addition, division cubes, and then I have these cute little 
erasers that I sometimes use. Like there's a little apple, a little strawberry. Okay. So that's kind of like most of my props. Um, I do add them sometimes. Okay, this is the lighting setup that I have been using. I've got clamp lights, and you need to make sure that you put parchment paper over them um, just so the light isn't as intense. And you're going to want light bulbs that are 5,500 watts, I believe, so daytime light. And I just have two of them right here. I could probably use some more on the other side, but, you know... It'll work. Um, and then I have this 18 inch ring light. So this goes directly over. And I actually had a question about this before. The legs are spread out pretty far underneath so that it doesn't tip over. And then I have this Archon arm. Now you can find um, less expensive arms on Amazon. This one is, I think, like $123. <laughs> so if you don't want to spend that, there are other options. The, uh, the only thing is, on this table, I don't think I'll have this issue on the pool table, but over there. But when I had the arm on the table, I would bump it all the time, the table, and then the camera would shake. So I kind of set it off to the side for um, on top of a coffee table so that if I bump the black table, um, the arm isn't going to move. Uh, hopefully that helps. So... Yeah, um, we're going to get into actually filming in just a second. 